So this should be our computer. This is our new computer. This is the 1227747 version instead of the, uh, I forget what ours is. Um, I want to make sure that it actually had the chips in it, like it said, because a lot of these when you buy them, they don't come with the chips. So we'll get this closed back up and get the old computer out of the truck and then this one into the truck and let's hope for the best. It is somewhat of a task right now. Um, well, the first thing is to move all of the other project vehicles around, but the truck isn't wanting to run all that well anymore. Um, after I've added the uh, larger throttle body and quite a bit of other miscellaneous sensors and electronics and all that stuff, the truck still runs, uh, it drives and everything. It does seem to be lacking a little bit in power, um, and it uh, is running really rich, and it doesn't want to idle. And uh, I've already went through, you know, all of the normal things that you would do, like air idle control, um, throttle positioning sensor, coolant temp sensor, all of that stuff, um, and then uh, come to find out that it's most likely that chip inside the computer. Anyway, enough rambling. Let's see if I can just turn the key and start it. smoke there. It's just running really, really rich. So, old computer is out. New computer is in. You can see the dome light came on, so I've got the battery hooked back up. And I figured I would take you guys along for the first start with this computer to see what exactly is going to happen. Let's get in here and see what happens. That's the easiest it has started ever. And it's running a little rough, but I mean, it hasn't been started in a couple days and it's cold and it's on kind of a high idle. temperature in it and see what happens. Okay, I'm really excited. It's uh, started to warm up. I shut it off real quick and then uh, went to fire it back up and that's normally when it would have its issues. But it fired right back up. I know it's not running the smoothest. Um, I don't know how it sounds on camera, but it does have a little bit of a an idle issue but it's not anything even close to what it was like it's actually compared to what it was this is very very smooth I don't know maybe you can see the little stumble every now and then and of course in true fashion I just saw this you fix one thing something else goes wrong see all that coolant pouring out of there As always, one thing and then another. 
this is becoming a very frustrating truck. Okay, so a couple hours later of uh, running around to different parts stores to try to find a heater core and getting the heater core installed. I went ahead and trimmed this hose that was really long, trimmed it down so it's shorter so it's not, you know, real far up anymore. And of course, coolant everywhere. I'm going to take the shop back to the carpet and try to get all this coolant out of there. I removed these LED strips that were underneath the dash. I've got to put everything back together. Um, let me grab a light. You can see the new heater core in there. So hopefully we're done with the leaks. It seems to be running a lot better uh, with that computer, but that's just starting and idling. It hasn't actually been um, driven anywhere yet, so we're going to see how that comes out. Uh, if I sound frustrated, that's because I am. Um, it's this project, you know, I know it's a project, and uh, you, know, you figure I'd be used to trying to do one thing and then something else go wrong working on Jeeps. This thing, by far, has been the worst project vehicle I have ever worked on. Um, not saying that, you know, the, that the truck is bad, it's just something about it. I fix one thing, another thing breaks, and I know a lot of you guys watching this are like, oh, okay, yeah, you know, that happens to everybody. Well, this has been more than that. Um, I would have to sit down and make a list of things that I fixed and then something else quit working, and, then, and they're nothing related to each other. So uh, that's going to be the end for this video. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, honestly, I don't even remember what all I've done in this video. So if you uh, came across this and you're not one of my subscribers or you're new to the channel, make sure to go into my channel, check out a couple other videos. I've got all kinds of different stuff in there. Um, I've got videos, uh, of course, on this. I've got videos on um, a Jeep Wrangler, a Jeep Liberty. You might be able to see it behind me. Uh, the Wrangler's in the garage. So I've got how-tos, reviews, all kinds of different stuff. So make sure to go in there and check out a couple videos. And if you find one that you like, hit the like button. If you have something to say, leave it down in the comments. And if you find a couple videos that you like, don't forget to subscribe to my channel.